the british grand prix weekend has arrived a new acr period starts huge for us reviewing canada special mention haas meeting everyone's expectations currently p5 we love that and we are exceeding expectations still for each race we love to see it gonna make theo your second driver for your fourth season it's not bad that'd be fun missing car parts oh sheesh oh god we have we have no front wings we have no good front wings what is happening how's that possible i mean i guess install it for now we have to remember that uh we were doing that Still can't take anything on. This will finish in two days. Our rear wing is going to finish. So that's good. Let's go ahead and move forward to that. Rear wing completed. Let's go ahead and make some of those. We'll rush those up. We'll get those ready for Silverstone. He's going to take an, another talent, but I can't remember his name. I was like, he's like 18 is a 70. I, that's not a bad call. I was kind of thinking about uh, looking at those as well oh we can start a new i'm gonna do some research for next season mainly because we've only done one two so let's do some let's do some rear wing because boy howdy do we need it let's see let's do 1.7 and how long is this going to take? 50 days. Sheesh. So if that's the case, we're only going to get like two in this one. So really we can use like half. You can use like half and half. Because my plan now is to do a decent chunk of research for next season. Which will give us some huge boosts. We are definitely going to focus on, let's see, we definitely need some high speed performance, definitely. I have upgraded so much of my facilities trying to put us in the best position possible. I will say that. You might be missing some, uh, some facility upgrades that help, because I know, let's see. I think there's like some of these that I like give you. I don't remember if they get more or maybe there was a, a regulation change that uh, gives me more. I can't remember, but there was something like that. Yeah, I get a yeah. You get a lot uh, of of time in my stuff. This is, oh god, and our suspension is low. <laughs> Damn it! Wait, how many do we have? Only one. I right, just make one. How much? Three days, sure. For seventy-five thousand, sure. Oh, I know. I know he's going to be so expensive, but I just want to see. I just want to see what it is. New suspension up, updated. We should. Why do we have zero chassis? These aren't even. Ah, fuck it. Whatever. I got money. I got money to burn. Let's be honest. We have extras. We have extras. We are making some right now, right? We are not. We need to make another one. Oh, we, we are making another one. I was wrong. We have plenty. We have plenty and we have plenty. Perfect. Ferrari is cheap. How can that be? True. Suspension done. On to the next thing. Our front wing replacements are done. Rear wing done. We have so many, so many things. Race prep, reach Q3, huh? How about this? How about reach Q2? How about reach Q2 and 12th again? I know we didn't do it last time, but how about this time? 
Maybe? Never know. Let's go to race weekend at Silverstone. Right. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. You guys make sure nothing bad happens. Okay? You're in charge. The time has come to fight it out. It's race day. Haas gave a solid performance in qualifying, and they'll be happy enough with their grid position here. Let's see if they can... As the sun continues to shine, it seems like nothing can dampen the mood of excitement here at the track. Let's take a look at Haas. Slower than most yesterday, so today they'll be starting from the bottom half of the grid. There's the other Haas. With their starting position in the back 10, they'll have their work cut out for them. Everything's been building to this. Anticipation is high, and the drivers are ready for this. The British Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. with an overtake. Is that a new race position for Haas? I have been muted for so long. I have been muted for so long. I have been muted for so long. I hate everything. I hate everything. Damn it. Thank you for telling me because I would literally not have. I'm so angry. Yeah, please do. God, I hate everything. Oh, editing this for YouTube is going to suck whenever I get to it like three months from now. God, I hate myself. Uh, I went so long ago. I muted myself when I went to the restroom and I forgot to unmute myself. I was talking for so much. Oh, that's going to be a pain to edit. So bad. 
Oh my god. I, I, I hate. I just, I just hate. That's all I have to say. Honestly, I wasn't saying anything too good because uh, our pace is uh, not very good today. It seems like everyone has brought some pretty significant upgrades and we have not. We have been focusing almost entirely on uh, next season's car to this point. And uh, not, it's not gone well in terms of uh, performance this season, to say the least. Yeah, I know. I'll just have to do some, uh, I'll just do some voiceover, but kind of the, the beautiful part about doing this on stream is I just get to chop it up and then it's pretty much good to go. And I don't have to do voiceover anymore. So makes it just makes it easier. It's just going to be one of those things. This is this episode is going to be so far into the future on YouTube that I'm going to forget about it and I'm going to get to the edit and uh, finally I'm going to get to the edit. I'm going to remember and I'm going to hate it. But yeah, it's fine. I'll just do uh, I'll just do it in post and it's fine. It's not the end of the world. All right, Mick. Let's see what you got. Huh? Losing positions. I mean, we are in a DRS train all the way. All the way. We are in a DRS train all... Oh, now Ricardo lost the DRS. But we were at once in a... From P1 all the way to P15. Uh, so that's cool, I guess. Come on, Mick. Make the move. Get the let out, Mick. Get the let out. Yellow flag, sector one, yellow flag. Down the inside. Oh. Sounds like someone's locked up. Stroll locks up as if I could care less. I mean, we just can't. We're in a DRS train now all the way up to Sebastian Vettel up in P9. We are honestly kind of just vibing to a certain extent. Dynamite. So weird watching this after just finished playing Rocket League. I mean, it's basically the same thing, right? I mean, Rocket League is just F1 with boost, right? That's how that works. And Silverstone really is just a, a long series of flowing corners and not a lot of opportunities for a uh, for harvesting until basically you get to the end of the second DRS straight. Oh, that's true. And the giant soccer ball. That's that's right. You're right. And the main harvesting of Silverson is right at the end of the lap. That's kind of crazy. Don't they have F1 cars in Rocket League as a skin? I feel like I remember that. All right, we are still entirely just vibing all the way in this DRS train, all the way up into P9. So that's that's chill, I guess. Kev, how you doing? Kev's kind of dropping off a little bit, but he is on the hard tire though, so there is that. We are safety car. Oh no, La Ferrari, La Ferrari. No safety car, just yellow flags. No like a few cars have Let's take a closer look. Okay. Oh, Ferrari on Ferrari action. Oh no. Mix the dive. Ooh, and the Red Bull gets caught up in it. Oof. Oof. Leclerc with the penalty. Let's go. They have to have damage too, right? Like have to? Yes, they are missing a front wing. Who was the other Red Bull? Oh, Verstappen, very slow. Oh, Verstappen limping. Quite literally limping. No front, probably a suspension slash gearbox slash something. He is, look at this man. Look at this dude. This dude is uh limping 
quite literally limping. Why did the why did this man oh it, it happened like right here, right? So actually he couldn't, so he has to this dude has to limp around. Oh my god, what is this interval gonna be by the time this lap is over? This is fascinating. This is more fascinating to me than than my own race at this point. Mainly just because they're kind of just vibing right now. Not really uh doing a whole lot. Kevin. Kevin's there. Mick is kind of falling off a little bit. Let's deploy Mick a little bit. Just for a second. Leclerc pits. Dude, Verstappen is so far behind. Just like so far behind. This is the most this is the most interesting thing that's happening right now. The man is 36 seconds behind. 37 seconds behind. I want to watch him go into the pits and see what they do or if they change anything at this point. Change the tires and he's back out. Is he going to go? Is he going to start going faster again? Oh, and he comes out lapped. Amazing. Well, now it looks like he has pace again. So I guess he was just limping at home for uh, no reason. That's he's that's so fascinating. Amazing. All right, back on our race. Mick is the back of a long DRS train. Kind of to be expected, I suppose. Although Kevin, you know, doing better on the hard tires, probably not as much of a it's probably more of a surprise than anything. Kind of just getting dragged along at this point. Honestly, lasting this long on the hard tires is probably the way to go. Because we're definitely going to make it to our scheduled uh, pit time. And we'll get to be on aggressive for longer. Not too shabby. Like two and a half wide. Kevin thinking about it. Kevin's thinking about making some moves. Mick is hanging on for dear life to stay in DRS range. On the medium tire too, Mick just does not have the pace today. He just does not have the pace recently. I don't get it. He's not like nothing's wrong. It's he's just just doesn't have it right now. I was if we put him on balanced fuel to try and like save a little bit of fuel. How far how how quickly does he fall off? This DRS train goes all the way up to P7, all the way down to P13. Amazing. Love it. And Silverstone really is like the king of bringing the upgrades for high and medium speed downforce. I'll make us falling off a cliff. He gets DRS, but he's not going to be in DRS for long at this point. Not really a whole lot we can do for him at this point, though, is the problem. I mean, we're getting pulled away from by, like, Kevin on the hard tire. I got you. Hey, still within DRS though, so I guess there's that. I mean, we're about to enter the pit window, so stuff will start to happen regardless. This this is gonna get broken up, at least a little bit. I mean, Kevin is the one who's kind of got the most to lose here being actually in the middle. Let's 
two and a half wide around left field i don't know if that's left field it's window entered for mick his first stop kevin still has another seven laps or so until he pits kevin being on harvest loses him a position that kind of sucks alpha tower regained a place Yeah, you missed Quali. It uh, it did not go well. It also didn't help that I was muted for like a long stretch of time. That was that was less than good. Dude, Mick on Harvest is slow. Holy. Do we potentially try and pit early with Mick? Hey, you missed that too. Yeah, it was uh, it was a good time. I don't know why I still have these guys on Harvest. Energy's good. Yeah, I'm copying. You're really debating on pitting Mick early to see if we can make something happen because we're going to the hard tire, which we should be able to run pretty quick on. Russell and Hammy going first. Yeah. Uh, Leclerc and Verstappen crashed uh, early. So that's why they're down here. Verstappen has has some kind of damage. Yeah, they crashed on like super early, like lap. I can't remember. Yeah, they crashed. Uh, Leclerc just had like body damage. Verstappen has something else wrong. It didn't look like I could, there was no visible damage, but he was going so slow that he was like like 45 seconds down to p19 before he even got to the pit and then came out basically lapped so i think uh yeah he's already plus one lap so we're stopping not having a good time around uh around silverstone to say the least Mick in first round of pit stops are ongoing. Kev is in his pit window. Curious to see when everyone on the mediums is going to start pitting. that top team is cursed in my game that's for sure at least ferrari is uh because like right now at the end of canada red bull is leading the constructors with mercedes in second but uh, red bull is only up three points and ferrari is down like what is that math 70 points He's secretly rooting for alpha Tauri. I, I mean, AlphaTauri is not doing too bad. The, the, their problem is their car just doesn't... They, they haven't seemed to have been able to bring it yet. But they're definitely, you know, they're midfield. I mean, they're running really well right now. But, of course, we're nearing our first round of pit stops, though. So, there is also that. Oh, these guys are going for the one stop. Oh, I see. I see. I see. All right, Kev. Let's flame these tires. Flame them. Destroy them. Destroy everything they stand for. Should get advice so they can win. It's funny you say that. So soon, one of these uh, in a couple of weeks maybe, I want to do a stream um, where I have chat control one. We'll we'll join. We'll do a team. We'll do a different save and do a team where I'll control one driver and chat controls the other driver. I'm trying to plan it out. Um, I'm kind of behind on the planning for it, but I'm trying to plan it out. I think it could be a fun idea if we get enough people here. We can do like polls to like make decisions for this for whichever driver chat would get and uh we'll see what happens Woo, kevin on the hard tires Ooh, almost almost around the outside 
we are going to the medium tire box this lap kev box this lap box box yeah that's kind of the, that sounds that's the fun part of it like it just sounds super uh chaotic and just fun so we're gonna see how it goes and hopefully uh hopefully it'll be fun hopefully we can get uh, a good number of people there i'm trying to uh get an idea of everyone who's like stopped in who obviously lives on different parts of the entire globe to try and find a time that would like kind of work for everyone yeah, that's kind of my goal is to uh find a time that works best for everyone and see and so we can make sure to try and get as many people there as possible all right mick how you doing for sure i i made a post in my discord in the general channel last week uh talking about it trying to figure out like what times would work best for everyone so if you're interested, I, I can't remember if you're in my Discord or not. I know it's not super active, but I did make a post in there kind of talking about it. If you're interested in checking that out and, you know, talking about, no, you're not. Aw, you should consider it. I, I did make a post in there talking about it. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to see. No one's responded to it yet, but maybe someone just needs to get it started, you know? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Evan on the medium tire getting blown by by Mick on the hard tire. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm, I'm definitely trying to find a time that kind of works for everyone because I do want to try and get as many people there as possible because I think it just could be chaotic and fun and exciting. Or at least that's kind of the uh, the best case scenario kind of thing. So Let me know if that link works. I know those links expire every once in a while. I thought I've checked it recently, but it might not. Edelin Norris in the pits. They do come out ahead. Not what you want to see. Not what you want to see. Oh, Kevin, why are you going to the outside, my dude? A new race position for Haas. Magnussen overtaking Russell. Not Russell. <laughs> Vettel. Sebastian Vettel. Kevin defends. Kevin up into P11 here. 1.1 1 .1 off the back of the McLaren. I'm actually going to deploy through this section. See if we can sneak into... Uh, Sneak into DRS range here. Doesn't look like it. We'll deploy down here. DRS for Kevin, but he stays ahead. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And Mick is entirely kind of just chilling back here in P13. <laughs> oh, come on, Kevin. Get there. All right, fine. A lot of race left, a lot of race left. We just passed the halfway points. 
Kevin should have more than enough here to uh, get by going down this back stretch here. Kevin, stop going to the outside. Fighting with Seb for P11 is costing us so much time catching up to P10. Like so much time it hurts. Hey Tyre's doing Mick, doing fine. Kev frying him as always. Pass with an overtake. Right, we're gonna deploy with Mick and see if we can deploy some distractionary tactics with uh against Seb. down to the inside almost rewind Kevin up into p10 with an overtake there. chasing down the McLaren of Lando Norris should have plenty just to get by here on the straight as long as Kevin doesn't try to go to the outside like he has been unless Norris is going to cover off the inside in which we will happily say thank you very much and we will be on our merry way let's see if we can break the toe from those hard tires going down to this back stretch here is that a new race position for Haas oh that the McLaren's a rocket ship up into p9 mick still holding on to the back there in p13 what tires are we racing it against though oof we're also racing against the hard tires we're chasing down ricardo in also medium tires we've caught up a little bit but realistically we need to start pulling away a little bit faster you're lapping we'll see what uh, what the lap looks like on this lap but i promise what day yeah i mean no that's fair i understand that that's kind of uh more of the loaded question i guess i'm more of just wondering if like fridays or like friday nights for me uh or like saturdays during the day would work better kind of thing so i what i've been debating on is instead of doing a friday stream do like a saturday morning slash day thing because i know a lot of like the most of the people who usually stop by like you and fury specifically work rather hours and days yeah no i get that too that's kind of why I'm, I'm trying to get an idea like it's it's gonna be hard it's gonna be tough but I'm just kind of just trying to kind of trying to get an idea more than anything at this point just to see uh if there's a like a specific day that might work better than the other so it's it's up in the air it's hard to say it's also hard when you're such a small community so that really like it's really just a few people Yeah, absolutely i'll uh I've, it's still probably going to be a couple of weeks out um at this point and just because i still have a lot more planning i want to do with it and kind of how i want it to work and so there's still plenty of time we'll try and uh, continue to figure out you know what may or may not work better than others kind of thing so we'll see we'll get there we'll get there kevin is doing a master class of uh defending against these guys We'll get there. We'll see. As of right now, all we're worried about is trying to get at least one of our drivers into the points if we can. So far, it's gonna it's gonna look tough. It's gonna be tough, but it looks doable. The hard runners look like they're gonna try and go to the end. So we need to act. We like realistically, we need to be flying, and we're kind of not, which is giving me pause. 
I currently live in Texas in the United States. Specifically South Central Texas. Mick has entered his next pit window. Mick also needs to like save some freaking fuel at some point. Most of the streamers are in America, you notice? That's fair. This is my pro oh no, not like this. It's all it's it's really funny that Oh uh, Mick. <laughs> Did you just see Mick? Oh you just see Mick just cruise through the background. Alright, Mick, save some fuel. Save some fuel. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. I think there definitely is a large uh, contingent of streamers from that live in America. Lifting coast will help. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But uh, it's funny. Like, I've definitely seen a lot of streamers from America. But the hilarious part about at least my stream is that ever since I switched to F1 stuff, it's mostly like people from other countries that stop in more than anything. And so, it's a fun. It's a funny dynamic. I've seen. Uh, Mick, how how could you do this to me, Mick? Make it six seconds back now. Uh, that's funny. Uh, the McLaren down the inside, to the outside, back to the outside. Pass with an overtake. Are we gonna get DRS? Yes, we are. And get the move done though. McLaren, gain a position. All right, we'll pay attention to Mick since uh Turkish born in the Netherlands and raised there. Very cool. Very cool. Very nice. Very uh very fun. I've been to the Netherlands exactly once back in 2018. I enjoyed every moment of it. That's a new race position for Haas. You're ending on try and end on the softs. We're gonna try and end on the softs with Mick. Box box. Box box. Box box. Mountainless country. True. It was great. We visited Amsterdam in 2018 and it rained every single day we were there it was awesome and McLaren with a great overtake. It, it's sad but we actually really did enjoy it even though it did rain every single day we were there Ev how you doing is totally fine we are saving ERS for this lap so we can box next lap Alpha Tower regained a place yeah that's ocean weather for yeah it was uh we chose apparently like the worst time to go not that we read it it made it definitely a lot cheaper but uh yeah it was pretty funny to uh to just kind of get rained on but what I mean once you like it happens one day you kind of like just don't really care from then on so it was pretty it was funny i can fry these tires fry these tires it rains every season here true very true it was it was one of those things where after we left we started looking and we were like best times to visit amsterdam and it was like <laughs> least best time go in april and we went in april it was one of those it was like it couldn't have worked out more beautifully than that
Never go to Norway. No, we only uh were in Amsterdam. We were gonna do more exploring around around Amsterdam. Holy shit, what was that? Kev, what the fuck was that? Um But with the weather and everything, we kinda got uh held up from doing most of the other stuff. We do want to go back over there that way. Um but there's just so many places over there. We've talked about going different places, like singular different places and like exploring that region or like trying to go for like longer, but then spending like a couple of days like in each spot and then like moving on to somewhere else. So who actually knows where, uh, where we'll end up next, but we definitely want to make it back over there eventually. I want to go over there for a race. I would love to go over there for an F1 race somewhere. Where is the big question, but I think that would be pretty cool. Zandvoort could be fun. Zandvoort could be fun. Honestly, I'm pretty biased about wanting to go to like Silverstone this year was fun, which has jaded me. I would love to go to Spa, mainly just because I think right now Spa is my favorite track. Um, Austria around the Red Bull ring could be fun. Oh, I mean, any of them, really. It kind of it kind of just depends. Depends on the race. Depends on how much it costs. Um, also, I would want it to be like a circuit I really like. I I don't have any major feelings one way or another about Zandvoort, so maybe. But I mean, I'm open to any of them. Heck, I'd go to Australia if I if I could, if it was uh, cost effective. Probably was getting over there is uh, easier said than done. Is it gonna rain? What is happening? A hey, new fast slap for Kev. You want to go to Istanbul Park for obvious reasons? Yeah, that uh, that makes sense. I get that. That'd be fun. I think three tenths. What a race. But Turkish GP is not, yeah, it's not right now. Is there, do you know if there's any talks of it, of bringing it back or is it like long yellow flag? No safety car. Duan locks up. I have no idea like the rumblings of which uh, races could or couldn't come back kind of thing. So I'm not sure. The Claire pits again. Oof, what a tough race for Haas. What a tough race. Probably should have tried to just extend into a one stop because man, the one stop looks like it worked pretty well. I think Silverstone just does not compute with our car this year, or at least as it currently sits. I mean, we may get to the point where we even have to start worrying about fuel for uh, both of these guys. And with Mick, you know, 2.7 behind Gasly, who's six seconds behind me, who's six seconds behind Daniel, who's three seconds behind Akon, it just, it doesn't look, it ain't looking good for the squad, unfortunately. A bit unfortunate, a bit unfortunate, to say the least. Have to go back and forth. You also don't understand some things because last year you had the Turkish GP, but not in the game this year. You don't have Chinese GP on the calendar, but you have it in the game. Some things don't add up. Yeah, it's it's odd for sure. Who knows exactly how all of that works, if we're being honest. All right, Kev, we need to get you into positive fuel, Mick. We might as well do the same thing with you. Honestly, it's kind of also the same thing where, what, didn't they recently say that, you know, they weren't going to go over 23 races a season, and now next year there's 24, so I think there's a lot of things that just aren't really, uh, aren't really making sense at the end of the day. So, who knows? Also, I'm making every concerted effort to get to the Las Vegas GP next year, and I'm gonna enjoy every single weird moment of it. Qatar coming back surprised you? I have no idea. Here's the fun, here's the other fun part about being a new fan, as well as an American fan. It's just, I have no comparison. Like, I just have no point of reference 
for uh for like any of the tracks like everyone's like oh guitar is coming back that's cool or they don't like this circuit for this reason and it's just like i have no idea i have no experiences with that all, all i can say is from what i've seen basically this year and so it's really interesting to me to see uh the discourse around you know different circuits coming back etc cetera, etc cetera, so on and so forth and kind of how uh, people are reacting to it but it's like i just have no idea I saw 24 races and I was like sick 24 races and then everyone online is all obviously I agree with everyone saying this the, who they kind of feel bad for uh, all the teams and staffers and planners and stuff who have to uh, like plan for all that stuff but at the same time it's like cool I get to see more racing next year than I did this year bet what a day what a day around Silverstone Not gonna lie, may just uh, speed this up a little bit. Gotta make sure Kevin's got fuel to get to the end. While also not giving up the position to Gasly here. Leclerc is spinning. Last year they put a new track off. Qatar and said it will be used only once and it will be temporary fixed for the calendar but now it's coming back that actually is really fascinating that's super interesting actually I wonder I mean obviously we all know why it's coming back right like oh it's a temporary circuit it'll only be used for this year and then it came and went and then the people in Qatar went hey what if we brought it back Thoughts? Thoughts? And F1 went... Okay. Exactly. Cash is king, baby. Cash is king. Deploy. Deploy. Go, baby, go. Ah, uh, tough day. A tough day around Silverstone for Haas. Our car is uh our car is not Alonso Oh Alonso Fernando Alonso Fernando Alonso wins the British Grand Prix overtaking Russell in the last lap. Oh my goodness. Woo, sheesh. Who do I like more? K Mag or Mick? Let's see. Oh, Kevin ran out of fuel at the line. At the line, literally at the line. Hard luck again, guys. Good job, Adam. Take the pickup. Nice checker flag. Nick still has fuel. Let's go. That. Tough day. Oh, that is a, that was a tough day. Copy that. Just take all the pickup. So let's see. As a driver, I prefer Kevin because he's consistently brought more results. As a person, I want Mick to do well. In real life, I like Mick a lot, mainly just because I really want to see him, you know, do well and stuff. Kevin just sitting here. <laughs> so I like Mick. I want to see him do well. I know he struggled kind of a bit uh, in the game. All right, in the game, Kevin. Kevin is a lot more consistent and just doesn't struggle with pace so much but the problem is i think mick could do well enough to uh hold us over and i think kevin's contract is up next year i think so we're thinking about it or they about making a change at the end of this year mercedes overtakes red bull after a howler of a day from max verstappen they jump into the lead. Ferrari gets their 10 points. Alpine with 27 points on the day. What a day. We fall to P6 in the Constructors thanks to uh, Alpine putting 27 points on our dome. Not a great day. Kevin gets a development point. Very, very nice. But dang. Ooh. Tough day. I think we're focusing, I think we're not focusing enough on bringing some improvements so something we're definitely gonna have to fix going forward because holy we don't want to do this we don't want to do this again 